Today we're going to talk about worm bins. How easy they are and how confused everybody must be because they think they need this and they need that and they need the other. Stay tuned, I'm going to break it down for you real quick. There's really two things worms need. They need moisture and they need organic matter. That's really about in some food. That organic matter is food or if you want to uh, augment it with some other things, that's fine too. But let me give you a quick rundown of how really simple it is. I see people wanting to buy products, flow through systems, tray systems. You know, here's, a, here's my worm bin. It's a five gallon bucket. So in Chicago, really worms like surface area. That is uh, worms that decompose, red wigglers. We're not talking about your average earthworm, your night crawler, those, those things. We're specific to red wigglers, which are composting worms. And if you notice, they're always on the surface. They like surface area rather than depth. The five gallon bucket has depth, but it'll do. In Chicago, I used to use these 10 gallon totes. Simple as that. Put your bedding in the bottom, some organic matter. Put your worms in there, some food in there. I used a plastic garbage bag. I cut one side of it off and I laid it right on top. If the worms are in a lit room, they're not going to crawl out. They don't like light. When the lights go out, sure, they may climb up the sides, but that piece of plastic keeps moisture in and it's a deterrent. Sometimes the worms are on the underneath side of the plastic. Sometimes the worms might be on the side. But it's as simple as keeping a light on top of the worms. They're not going to crawl out. They don't like light. Bottom line. So in Chicago, what I did is I built a way to sift my worms. This is a quarter inch hardware cloth. I built a box the same size as my bin, my tote, and then I could just go ahead and sift it. Quarter inch gets the rough stuff out. And then I had a second one eighth inch. And then I put the sifted material back through this sifter to get just to the bottom to the worm castings themselves. And if you'll notice, if you wanted to build something like this, I built a one by one square, uh, excuse me, it's a two by two square frame. And then I stapled the plastic to it and then I screwed furring strip one by one so that my hands wouldn't be on the screen, my hands wouldn't be on the staple. I could easily grab it here, I can easily grab it here. If you want to sift down to straight worm castings, you can use this. And let me tell you real quick a little story. When I decided I wanted to start doing worms, one of the big reasons I wanted to do worms, that castings are great for stopping dampening off in your seed, seed starting material. So if you add worm castings into that, it really helps your seeds get going and it really helps to prevent dampening off. But to get my initial set of worms, I ended up going to the bait shop. And I told the bait shop I wanted some worms to put uh, for my garden. And they said, hey, we're cleaning out our worm bins right now. And they had about five garbage bag fulls of all the old bedding. And I'm like, great, I'll take that. It'll be perfect for the garden. I went home and I sifted it. There were baby worms in there. There were cocoons in there. There was all kinds of stuff in there. And it started me off on my worm bins. So check your local bait shop. And if they buy in worms wholesale and they just hold them in containers, they likely change that bedding and they have to throw it out. But for this, for this conversation, let's really focus on this five gallon bucket. That's my worm bin now. Basically all you have to do, and right now I'm gonna show you me doing a little sifting of it. I wanna get the, the castings out for some seeds and we're gonna start a new bin. Here it is, five gallon bucket. No holes, no spigot. The worms love moisture, about 74%. If it starts getting wet down here, they're gonna seek a new level up in the bucket to where they wanna be. They're not gonna be in the bottom and drown, that's crazy. If you were to leave this outside and it filled up with rainwater and filled up, sure they might drown. But if you're just maintaining the bucket, you're putting some food in here, some wet material, sure it's gonna have moisture in the bottom, but it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. So what I've done now, behind me you can see I got wood chips. And all the way in the back I got year old wood chips. I took some of those year old wood chips and I put them right in here. This is my organic matter, my bedding. That's what I'm gonna start with. And I've taken two buckets as a matter of fact. This is my current worm farm. 
And you'll see I've thrown some weeds in there. Let's transfer this over to our new buckets. Some old newspaper. Just carbon, carbon material for the worms. Oh, what do you know? There's a comfrey root. Sometimes I throw them in the worm bin just to keep them moist until I get to using them. So we'll just put that on the side. And now let's take a look what's in here. Kind of wet on the bottom. And what do you know? There's worms and lots of them. What I do is I carry this bucket around while I'm working in the garden. It's been really moist and rainy. And while I'm digging, planting seeds or what have you, I'll just pick up the worms and throw them in here. And then this material is a little wet to sift. But let's take some of the top material and we can show you how that works. Move our comfrey to the side. We're going to come down here and get this quarter, the quarter inch hardware cloth. Just going to grab some of this material out. Worms and all, everything's in there, no big deal. Give it a few shakes. So we've got some of the heavier material. We've got the worms. There's a beetle, some organic matter. You can see the worms crawling around. And I'm just going to dump this into the new bin. See the worms hanging on for life. Straggler here. Come in here and get some more material. Sift that down. Sometimes I put cocoa coir. If I have that available, sometimes I'm using that for seed starts. You can see it's some of this lighter brown material that's in here. Sift this down. And you can see all the worms going in the new bin. Give them a little food. I have an old corn cob here. They love corn cob. They love corn. They love uh, corn flour, corn meal. You could buy a bag at Walmart for a buck fifty if you want to give them a treat. Throw a couple of cups of corn meal in there. They love it. All right. So there you go. That's basically a, the start of a new worm bin. Although we have a lot more, but I'm not going to do the whole thing. Now we have one sifted material. You can see how fine it is, but it's not all the way down to being pure castings. So hold one moment, I'm gonna grab another bucket. For this project, you don't need another bucket, but since I'm trying to explain and I'm splitting into two buckets and showing you, I'm just getting one to transfer with and I've dumped that whole worm bin out. Normally you'd only dump out as much as you were sifting at any one given time. And I'll tell you what, Mark over it, I am organic gardening. Used to be I am N or NJ Organic. Mark's a great guy, really smart. He has built a new sifting technique where he's cut out the side of the bucket and I put a screen in there and, and attached that in there in a double bucket system. It's really neat. If you want to go that route, I suggest you check that out. I'll put a, a link in the, in the description down below and go ahead and see Mark's video. It's really awesome. But if you want to go the lazy route like I am, this is all I'm doing. And I'll take this and now I'm just going to sift it down through that eighth inch screen now. And we're going to get most of that organic matter is going to stay in the screen. There is just a touch of organic matter in here and the lighter brown stuff and the rest of it's worm castings. Worm castings are incredible. Hold moisture, break apart. It's just really, really, really neat stuff. So Charles Doubting once said in one of his videos, the best way to 
to uh, raise worms is right in your garden beds. And he doesn't use worm bins. And he's right, it's great when they're in your garden beds. But if you're trying to get down to the castings for something like your seed starting mix, this is a real great way to do it. Remember, all you need is a five gallon bucket. Don't sweat it, you don't have to go buy anything. Just grab a five gallon bucket, throw some organic material, pick up some worms, and you're ready to go. It's as easy as that. Remember, this is giveaway year of 2017, April. Echinacea, purple cone flower. That video will be coming out soon. Make it over to that video and uh, go ahead and give a comment saying I'd like some echinacea too. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and remember, come grow with us.